Hey guys, um, this is gonna be a tutorial on how to, uh, how, well, how to load a, 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 an operating system bin file into any op, uh, virtual machine that can um, uh, use floppy disks. Um, now, I, I've been trying to uh, convert this bin file here that I've got into a, an ISO. Um, here, I got a failed attempt here. Um, I said here twice. Oh, whatever. But anyway, I'm uh, like, it, okay. So it works fine whenever you launch it from the uh, the bin file in Q, uh, Q, QEMU. Um, but for whatever reason, it's just like it. it even if I use special software to put it in I an ISO, it do doesn't work. Um, like like this in for a quarter. I know there's a way to do it with this fucking GNU shit. I don't want to do that. That's just lame. I'm, I'm not gonna rely on fucking Linux crap. But, um... But, so, but I actually, I found a way that you can get around this. You can, and it, it's by using floppy uh, it, image files. So if I go, so if I delete this here, and I copy this, all I gotta do is just rename it to, uh, uh, boot dot image and it'll work which is interesting because I, like for some reason it's completely different for ISOs but if we go over here and we um, see it's 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 in here already but if we go over here and look boot it in in uh, virtual box <coughs> once it loads uh, we'll see we'll see that it um, it uh it works you see we got uh, this. We got my makeshift kind of, gar kind of garbage operating system on um, in VirtualBox. Uh, um, so it does work with floppy disks, and as you can see, the drive is zero. So apparently, that's what the that's what the uh, the floppy disk drive uh, number is, which is interesting. But there are some there are some problems with this though. For one, it um. Uh, I, I um, have removed the uh, I removed the the is the disk reading interrupt here. Um, I also have like a function to do it and test for errors, but I just removed that for now just so that just to get to show you the the, the, the point. So right here, if we uh, um, assemble this, um, we'll get a, a new image file. And for some reason, it works in okay, it works in QM, QEMU. So if I ever go over here and boot from floppy here, um, it works fine. See, it reads the character that is in uh, the... It reads the character here that's beyond the... Uh, uh, it's beyond the... Uh, what do you call it? It's, be it's beyond the boot sector. So it loads it here fine, but for some reason, I have no clue what the why. Um, if I try booting it in VirtualBox from the same image... Uh, the 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 disk reading interrupt won't work for some reason. In fact, it not only won't work; it'll lock up the system entirely. So if we go over here, as you can see, I can't type anything. It's just frozen, and and it's like uh, this is why I removed my my uh, load from drive functions. It was to show that it's not the function; it's just the interrupt itself that for some reason doesn't work in VirtualBox, um, which sucks. But I'm sure we can find a way to work. Or to get around that, um, I mean, once you get once you go onto into 32-bit protected mode instead of in 60 or 16-bit real mode, it, you're not going to be able to use interrupts anyway, um, because the you can't use the bio the, it you, you it's in protected mode, so you can't use the BIOS cause, because it's protected. But um, uh, I I, I will we'll see we'll see how how it works uh, over, uh, eventually, but. Yeah, so if you had happen to be making a operating system and you don't know how to convert uh, it to to an ISO file, um, I mean this is this is a this is not a like a complete solution because you're gonna want a ISO file eventually. But I guess just for now, for the time being, uh, an image file will will do. It'll work for now. But yeah, I hope this video was informative. Um, let me know in the comments if you like these updates, uh, and yeah, thanks for watching. See you guys.